Can, all right, Rob. Phoenix, you mentioned it. Chris Paul. Spectacular game. 41 points, eight assists, and get this, Rob, zero turnovers. A guy that was having a bad series, thir- shooting 32% from the floor through the first five games, or, or at least for No, him he wasn't playing three, well, and you know that, Chris, you mentioned it yesterday, the, two, the last couple of games. You know, once he came back, he just wasn't playing that well. The talk was that they might be better in this series, not overall, with campaign. And uh, Chris went out and put that talk to rest, and he put the L.A. Clippers to rest along with him. And he has been getting his flowers all day long. Even Pat Beverly saw the outpouring of praise and decided to apologize for that weak push in the back. And I like Pat Beverly. I've said he's the epitome of the type of guy, you know, that you hear this said about. You hate to play against him, but you'd love to have him on the team. But that move, that shoving Chris Paul in the back was the weakest move I've seen in pro sports in a long time. That was just straight up weak. You and this, you and he apologized today. No, of course so that was. You don't want to you don't want to go out like that like uh, you know, classless. You know, just be classy. Your team had a valiant effort. You know what I mean? Ran out of gas, and he played well. Just got give, give him his due and leave it at that. You know what I mean? Right. You don't want to go where, where you're making a scene or you're doing something silly, so you and don't want to do that. if you are going to make a scene, do it in his face. You don't push nobody in the back like that. That was beyond a cheap shot because a cheap shot is in, usually in the thick of the action, right? You throw the ball at somebody. You... You, you know, you hit somebody extra hard in play. But just to do that was weak. But, again, he apologized. I'm not saying he should be canceled or, you know, you got to hate him. It was just a bad move. He lost control. He, he apologized. Why, why? People make mistakes in life all the time. There used to be a radio announcer. It was announcer. a bad move. That's fine. It, we see still needs to get chastised. No, I'm not talking about that. He was saying Chris about. didn't get hurt. No, I'm not saying that. I'm talking about canceling somebody. He, oh, did, yeah. he apologized. Oh, yeah. I mean, Absolutely. okay. And that's why uh, the, the Bob Murphy was a Mets announcer for 100 years in New York. He used to always say, that's why they put erasers on pencils. Because people make mistakes. That's all I'm right. saying. He right. made a mistake. He, he owned up to it. Okay, apologize. He got beat up. He apologized for it. Let's move on. Rumor has it, though, Rob, that while everybody's been giving Chris Paul and the Phoenix Suns flowers, you want to hate. I'm that's just going to educate. That's the word on the street. That's the word I'm just going to educate. Is that true? Okay, okay. I'm, the floor is yours. All I'm going to say, and I want you guys, don't be reactionary, and the people listening in Phoenix are going to get oh, their wow. panties be that. <laughs> in a bunch, is that when I think about the Phoenix Suns and their run to the championship, there's just two questions. Was it for real? Or was it for Gazy? Was it fraudulent? <laughs> I'm saying it's for Gazy. I know they were the number one, number two seed in the West, but let's just be honest. They had the easiest path. They, it was a mass unit that they went through. Anthony Davis, remember they were down in that series. Chris, everybody thought the Lakers were going back to the championship. Anthony Davis gets hurt. Suns win that series. We knew that uh, eventually Denver was going to have to pay the Piper without having Jamal Murray. They had a nice run, but you can't keep that up without losing a player of his caliber. And then nobody thought the Clippers were going to even beat Utah after Kawhi Leonard got hurt in game four. They win that series. And, of course, the Suns are able to go through the Western Conference without playing against their best player. Hey, if they win the championship, it counts. I'm not going to sit here. I'm not into asterisks or trying to tell people whatever, but I'm telling you, if I touched it, the Suns championship uh, run to the finals, I'd have to wash my hands. If I went to the bank and tried to cash a check from them, it would bounce. If I had, if they gave me any money in my hand, it would be a $3 bill. That's how Fugazi... This run to the NBA wow. Finals has been for the Suns. I'm sorry. Wow. Nice job, Chris Paul. 
but you got lucky. The, the, the Red Sea parted for you to allow the Suns to get to the NBA Finals. That's where we are. I want people to own up to it. No AD. No Jamal Murray. No Kawhi Leonard. You know what that means? It means easy street for the Phoenix Suns. Go ahead. Roll around in it. Feel good. Add a little baby oil. Whatever you need. It's Fugazi. Rob Parker. No, 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 no. Alex, do not do that. <laughs> he deserves no applause. Rob Parker. For that foolishness. For that garbage. For that haterade. We will not have that on the odd couple. Wow. Clapping for that. That ridiculous take. Are you serious? Two words. Stop it. Oh, oh, Anthony Davis hurt. Guess who else was hurt, Rob? Chris Paul. That's right. You, you conveniently left that out of your little spiel. Instead of picking your music to play during your little hot to trot diatribe, you should have looked up the facts. Chris Paul was hurt too. And then Denver, it ain't like they struggled with Denver. It's not like it was a nail biter. Like, like, like it was a, a series that was up for grabs. They blew them out. First game, beat them by 17. Second game, beat them by 25. Third game, 14. I mean, they blew the doors off of the MVP and his squad. And then you got nerve about the Clippers. Of course, Kawhi Leonard's hurt. But you still thought they were going to win the finals or at least get to the finals. You weren't worried about Kawhi's injury when you stood by that pick. Now you want to cry? Now you want to moan? Now you want to disregard what the Phoenix Suns, who have not been in the playoffs in 10 years, did? The Phoenix Suns, who, whose second and third best players had never even played in the postseason? No. Give them their propers, Rob Parker. Admit your pick was wrong. And give the Phoenix Suns props because they deserve it. We all know everybody's banged up. Everybody's hurt. Don't be mad at them because they, they, they got through it better than everybody I'm else. I'm just giving facts. Just like they'll wind up winning a championship with either Giannis not playing or Trey Young not playing. It would be fitting that one of those two, no matter which team they draw in the finals, one of those two guys won't be playing, and that'll be their championship. And they'll have four straight uh, series where the star player was out and they were able to win. That's all I'm saying. I'm giving you facts about people who are looking at the Suns and making it like they knocked off everybody. And I'm not saying that uh, Chris Paul in the Lakers series or trying to act like it didn't matter. Anthony Davis is the difference, and you knew, know that when it comes to the Lakers. LeBron can't lead anybody. Once Anthony Davis anybody. was down, nah, He's been not leading anymore. his whole career. He can't do well, it anymore. Anthony Davis can't lead anybody either. Nah, he can't do it anymore. And you know once Anthony Davis was prime. out, the Lakers had no shot, I, even with LeBron. Chris Paul was hurt. He's their leader. Who thought Devin Booker was going to emerge? This is his first time in the playoffs. And, Rob, did you say the same thing in Detroit when their first finals that they won, Magic Johnson only played 75 minutes? We talk about it all the time, and, and, and it's a part of a narrative, just like when the Warriors won their first championship with Steph Curry right. and all the points. So we don't take point that guards. away from them? I, you didn't I, stop I, I didn't say, I, I didn't say I'm taking away. All I'm saying is the run is for Gazy. They had nothing but breaks along the way, and they can even potentially have a break in the championship. They're living a charm life in the desert. That's all. Call it the way I see it. You know me. I'm about facts. 
F A C T Z. Facts. <laughs> 877 99 or 5. Will you please call this man up and put some knowledge in his head, reel him back in, and give the Suns props? I, of course, he's right about the injuries, but the Suns were injured too. Chris Paul missed the first two games of this series. Rob Parker. The you first know, two I'm games. Spot on, Rob, Chris. you forgot. You conveniently left that out too. That Chris Paul missed the first two games of the series. They went into the Western Conference Finals with Cameron freaking pain. Let me hey, start in that point guard. I'm gonna take and a they, bow. And they're living a charmed life. I'm gonna take a bow for my fans because they know where I'm coming from. Alex Thank is you. just mad because I Thank said we'd be much. fine with Iowa Sam next week. That's all. That's why you got the music and the applause. Well done, Rob. You know what it's called? Go, you know, Rob. You know what? Alex is a radio guy, so he understands when somebody <laughs> you get it, comes Rob. in. With preparation and a presentation and a show, and you know, can move the needle. So, Alex appreciates all that stuff. Alex, thank you. Rob, you, you know what? It. I've been in radio, TV. Nobody gives a take like you, Rob. Well thank done. you, my man. Gosh. Thank you. Oh, my God. You know, I, I just started I doing out. talk radio. Rob, in, if you're in studio, watch out because Alex's nose is growing. It's going oh, wow. right through the glass and smack you in the face. Hey, I, I started talk radio in 1994, Alex. Can you tell? I 1994. can tell, my guy. Right. Yeah, I can tell, too. <laughs> old, and, <laughs> old, old and creepy. Whatever. Old curmudgeon. Oh, I'm creepy uh, now. Wow. Hey, <laughs> little girl, what's happening? Uh, <laughs>